Yo, what's up? Bringing you that I'm be done. Show 17. So in this one, we have the St. Louis Cardinals team build. 91 overall team. I'm pretty sure that matches the high as far as like the best teams that we've had so far. But taking a look at the roster in a rotation, we have Adam Wainwright, Alex Reyes, Mike Lee, Carlos Martinez, and John Lackey. So the rotation is pretty good. We obviously have the two big arms in Wainwright and Reyes. And then a few golds out there, which are solid. In our lineup, we have Lou Brock, Ozzy Smith, Albert Pujols, Orlando Cepeda, Matt Holland. Jim Edmonds, Yadier Molina, and Matt Carpenter. So we couldn't get the Diamond Molina. He was too expensive. We didn't go after the Diamond Edmonds. But the rest of the lineup is definitely pretty good. And then on our bench, we got David Freeze, Carlos Beltran, Colby Rasmus, Randall Grishuk, and Tommy Pham. So the bench is pretty good. We obviously have the 99 Beltran. And then in our bullpen, we have Kevin Segrist, Brett Cecil, Swung Hun Oh, Trevor Rosenthal, Jason Ma, Bruce Suter, and Pat Nashak. So we have some good arms in our bullpen, Ma, Suter, and Nashak. I mean, Rodenthal is pretty good too, but that is the Cardinals team. So getting into the game, our opponent has a creative player, Mike Trout, Bryce Harper, Troy Tulowitzki, Carlos Beltran, Ken Griffey Jr., Josh Donaldson, Joe Maurer, and 99, Clayton Kershaw on the mound. We have 93, Alex Reyes, so it's a good pitching matchup. But Kershaw is the last pitcher that I wanted to face. I don't think I've ever beaten him, but we're going to the bottom of the first inning. Ozzy Smith up the bat, and he's going to come up with a base hit, a little liner up the middle. Maybe a weak hit, I don't really know. But Ozzy Smith is going to end up with a single to try starting things off for us in the inning. That is going to bring up Albert Pujols, another curveball, and we're going to line one into the gap. Ozzy Smith is going to come all the way around from first. We're sending him home, and we're going to take a 1-0 lead in this game. So that's a big hit from Albert Pujols, the nice double, and it gave us the lead going up 1-0. That is going to bring up Matt Holliday with two outs in the inning, another curveball, and we're going to rip it right to the right fielder, and that is going to be an out. So we couldn't get another run in this inning. Now we go to the top of the second inning, the 1-0 count to Beltran, the inside pitch. And he's going to line one into right field for a base hit. Trying to get it in as quick as possible. But we weren't trying to throw him out. Now Joe Maurer up the bat. The inside slider. And Maurer is going to go deep with a two-run home run into right field. That was a good pitch. I got it where I wanted to. Maybe a little bit more inside. But he connected and took the lead. Now we're going to the top of the third inning. And he's going to line another one up the middle for a base hit. So he's getting some hits along in this game. And Alex Reyes is normally pretty good for us. We got two outs now, the curveball, and another base hit. This one into left field over our shortstop's head. We couldn't really make a play on that. That's going to give him runners on first and second in scoring position. We got the full count with Beltran up the bat. The inside sinker got him frozen for the strikeout. That was a nasty pitch. Now we go to the bottom of the third inning, the 0-2 count to Lou Brock. And Lou Brock is going to come up with a base hit, ripping it up the middle. We got the man we wanted on base, 99 speed. That's always good for us. We got to try getting him around. Ozzy Smith up now with an 0-2 count. The curveball, try to do the hit and run. And we end up popping it up to second. He's going to get the double play. Last thing we wanted right there. Now we go to the top of the fourth inning, the 0-1 count. The pitch inside and another hard liner into right field. Lou Brock can't get there in time. And he's going to end up with a double. So another big hit. That we are giving up. He's already in scoring position. Now one out for Joe Maurer. The pitch away. And he's going to pop it up into left field. I don't know what he was doing right here. I don't know if he thought there was two outs. But he went to third. And we're going to get the easy double play. So we'll take it. We'll take that double play. We now go to the bottom. The fourth inning. Matt Holiday up the bat. The 0-1 count. The curveball down the third baseline. And the third baseman makes the jump throw. And gets us out. Top of the fifth inning we go. Kershaw up to bat. The pitch will win. He's going to hit a nasty one down the third baseline. Try to dive for it. Try to get a glove on it. But nothing we can do about that hit. Right on the line. Kershaw comes up with a single. No outs in the inning with that runner at first. The pitch away. And that grounder gets through. So now he has runners on first and second. Not a good situation for us. Now he has a full count. The slider away. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. That's huge. We end up getting another out. The 0-2 count to Tulo, the pitch inside, and he's going to pop it up into foul territory. So we managed to get out of the inning, which is pretty big, keeping it at 2-1. Now we go to the top of the sixth inning, two outs in the inning. The inside pitch, a grounder to short. Ozzy Smith, the jump throw, making the play. I like it right there. The Wizards showing off. Now we go to the top of the eighth inning. Alex Ray is still on the mound. The pitch low in the zone, and Bryce Harper is going to hit a solo shot. So right there. We had to take Reyes out. I think Rosenthal came in and got out of the inning. We go to the bottom of the eighth. The full count for Yadier Molina. And he's going to come up with a base hit. 
So our offense has not really been good this game. We haven't gotten that many hits. But we finally get a man on base. Now Carlos Beltran up pinch hitting with two outs. The inside pitch a terrible swing. We're going to hit the grounder to the shortstop. He throws at the second for the out. We go to the top of the ninth inning. Ma into pitch. The inside pitch. And we're going to get the pop up into right field to get out of the inning. So bottom of the ninth inning. We go our last hope. Two outs for Albert Pujols. The pitch high and away. A grounder up the middle. And that is going to be the game. So we end up losing 3-1. to one. Clayton Kershaw ends up being the player of the game. Now Alex Reyes, seven innings pitch, gave up ten hits. Three earned runs, two home runs. So it wasn't a bad outing from him. We had two strikeouts, just those two home runs kind of killed us. But taking a look at the full box score. So Lou Brock goes one for four. Ozzy Smith goes one for four with a run. Albert Pujols goes one for four with an RBI. And then Cepeda goes 0 for three. Holiday goes 0 for three. Edmonds goes 0 for three. Molina goes one for three. Carpenter goes 0 for three. And then Reyes goes 0 for two. Beltran pinch hitting goes 0 for one. And that was our offense. So we didn't really hit the ball that well during the game. Four hits, seven strikeouts. Kershaw kills me, man. I don't think I've ever won against Kershaw, like I said. But pitching-wise, we already talked about Reyes. And then Rosenthal and Ma both pitched an inning. Pretty much shut him out. And that was the game. But that is going to do it for this one. Minus that first inning, we didn't really do anything. And I think I've played this guy before, like three times or so. And he's beating me every time. I think it's been against Kershaw every time, too. But... That's it. St. Louis Cardinals end up taking the L. The Chicago White Sox are up next, so stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm out.